Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 241, finding pairs with a certain sum. So this one, to be honest, looks like a really hard problem. And you should go to my Discord channel or hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we could chat about it. Uh, but but no, but this one was kind of tricky, I think. And is it could go many different ways. I think the way that I was initially thinking about was like some sort of weird binary search. But note that there's an adding a positive number, which makes it a little bit awkward because a dynamic data structure and stuff like that. You can still probably figure something out maybe, um, but... It, it's a it's a it's a tricky problem. I don't know if I know how to solve it in a reasonable amount of time, but that's why you have to look at constraints. And this one is a laundry list of constraints. And I think the one thing that surprised me a little bit when I was like, okay, let me take a quick look first, is that nums one and nums two are asymmetric. If you miss that, it's going to be hard to solve this one. But um, but yeah. Uh, that means that nums2 is the longer way, but also keeping in mind that nums1 only has a thousand elements. And then the second thing I noticed is that at most a thousand call to the count function. The add function, I don't really care that much, but the count, well, okay, you could do add reasonably fast anyway. But the, there's only at, at most a thousand calls to count. That means that now it becomes feasible to have some iteration that for each count loop, you count a thousand times, a thousand times, a thousand is going to be a million, which is going to be fast enough for most things, even Python. Uh, maybe a little bit sh foreshadowing. But but yeah, so basically, then it becomes bookkeeping. And what I mean by bookkeeping, because I get questioned about this, is that it's just about keeping track of stuff, like keeping books of like accounting. And like in accounting, and you like keep track of where everything is, uh, uh, making sure you put it back in a good place, you take it out, and all of that stuff. So that's bookkeeping. Uh, it's just a, f it's just kind of keeping track of everything. And this is basically my code. So I just keep track of well, for numbers, for for numbers away, uh, or for numbers one, we keep track. Well, for both of them, we keep track of the number of um. Uh, the frequency, so I use f for a frequency table. Um, f1 is just the frequency of all the numbers in, in nums1. f2 is just the frequency of numbers in f2. Uh, so for for count, let's go to do count first. Count is very um, naive. It goes through every frequency, or it looks at every number in, in the frequency uh, in nums1 separate way. Uh, we, we do it for the key so that it dedupes, but the same idea is the same. And then we just sum up the um sum up the different pairs right there um because x plus total minus x is equal to total which is what your um what is the input for count that means that you know the their x the this number uh numbers the number of x's on f1 and the number of total minus x on f2 so then you know you do a cartesian product thing and the number of cartesian products are of course just this multiple right um so then you sum it all up and that's the answer um you know note that this is going to be n1 number uh number of keys so you know and this is all one for each loop so this is also going to be the running time right um and because this is going to have q queries say this is going to be all of q times n1 in total in theory right um and in space well we'll talk about space later and then the, the, the harder part um is keeping track of of the ad right and here we just also just keep track very naively we have make a copy of the array for each index we look at what it used to be we we make the delta we add the, the value and then now we have the new number right this is, I think the code, this is actually my contest code. I think it's pretty self-descriptive actually. Um, and then, yeah. And then in the previous variation, we minus one and then we add one to the current number. And that's basically all the bookkeeping you need to do. Um, this this function is not even worth analyzing because this is just all of one, everything is all of one. So if you have Q queries, this is going to be all of Q time. In terms of space, um, note that we don't use any extra space in count or add. So all the space is going to be in the pre-processing step. And this is going to be linear, which is all of, of n1 plus n2 time, oh sorry, in space, and I guess time too, because we, we, we kind of deduped them into uh, frequency tables, so yeah. As well, so yeah. Um, 
So I think that's pretty much it. I think if you have trouble with this, um, the number one thing is just look at the constraints. I think this is a really tr- sneaky problem. It's not a tricky problem per se, if you, but if you notice this, you'll be like, oh yeah, of course, you try to optimize for numbers one. And then, you know, it's just about putting all the constraints together. I think the problem is not that interesting otherwise. But yeah, and once you do that, then you could, you know, have complexity that are tailored for this particular set of inputs. Um, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. I think I, I did this one about like three, four minutes. Um, I, I had a t- I forgot to multiply it here, I think, and that took a, an extra minute or so, but uh, mistakes happen. Let me know what you think and watch me solve it live during the contest next. Okay. A little behind, slow on the other one. So numbers two is way bigger than numbers one. That's the big one. of it as well. Hmm, that's already wrong. If I misunderstood it. Why did I do four? Seven. Oh, whoops. This should be... Um, okay, now that looks good. So yeah, let me know what you think about today's contest, today's farm. Did you have the same annoyingness that I had on stuff? Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, talk about these things. I I try to do most of these. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy. I'll see you next problem and you know, to good mental health. Bye-bye. Had to press the stop button.